I'm assuming you can call me Big Red while I got my hair red, okay? Once I take the red hair out, that will no longer be an option. But I'm so Luke, okay? And before we even get started, I want to do a disclaimer. So, I don't know which part around the shop. I noticed whenever you come here to get your hair done, you kind of like try to avoid making eye contact with me, which is cool. You know, it's cool. Maybe you're shy. And I also noticed that you always go to the other makeup artist. And the only reason that you're coming here today to me is because she's not here. I'm still going to do a good job, okay? I promise. I ain't going to mess your face up. I'm not even that type of person. And number two, right? See, I don't know what you are around the shop. But I'm thinking if there might be a reason that you were trying to avoid me. Because I can, I can paint a face, okay? So, I don't know if it's been, like, a lot of this with the gossip in the shop or whatever. But I just want to let you know, okay? It's a lot of estrogen. A whole lot of estrogen in the shop, okay? I don't even really talk to people. When I do talk to people, I only have nice things to say. I don't get in other people's business, okay? I mind my business. And I never gossip, right? If I hear something, I, I'm like a gatekeeper of secrets, right? So, I'm happy we got a chance to meet today. We finally got acquainted from all the times you've ever been in the shop. So, let's get started, okay? Now I'm going to start with a moisturizer. Now tell me what are we doing this for today? You and him, and let's go into this function. What's his name? What's his last name? Oh, oh nothing, nothing. I'm just about to find your face, is all okay. No, no, no. Really, it's nothing. I told you already, I don't get into people's business. I'm not the one to spread the word of what I've heard other people talking about. It's really none of my business. Mm -mm, just be still for me. Hey, look, since you keep insisting, you didn't hear from me. <laughs> you didn't hear from me, okay? That's first. I'm not a messy person, but I feel like maybe since you keep on asking me about it, maybe God sent me this information to relate to you, right? And I'm only doing this so I can help you. Not, I don't talk to people, okay? I don't gossip. But a friend of a friend of a friend's cousin's husband's girlfriend told me. That one of the hairstylists in here said that she saw your man out with another girl at dinner. And this was just last weekend. But I don't know if it's true or not. I don't get in people's business like that. From what I heard, he has a tattoo behind his ear. Is that true? No? Well, that's how we're sure that it was him. Listen, I wouldn't even worry about it. It's not even a big of a deal. I mean, it's a lot of men that have tattoos, like, behind their ear, kind of, like, on their neck, you know? Who's to say that it's your guy? <sighs> He's, like, tall, kind of short. Stocky, kind of buff. Mm, dark, kind of light. 
His hair is kind of like in the middle, not too long, not too short. Listen, I think it's important as a woman to not believe everything you hear, all right? Even the description, even if the description is very extremely accurate like it was him, because it probably was, but that doesn't mean you believe, right? You always want to do your own investigation, maybe check with the person that I got it from, you know? And they sounded pretty sure. Now listen, it's the last thing really, I promise, but I also saw him drop you off before, and he dropped another girl off here before too. Now, I'm not saying that that's somebody he was talking to, could have been his cousin, you know, could have been his sister, but what I do know is that she was very pretty, and I was just thinking, I hope that's his cousin or his sister, because I know he has a girlfriend. Look up for me, babe. Thank you. Mm -mm, just be still. Well, I mean, it wasn't just one time that he brought her here, right? She comes just like you come for your weekly appointment. Sometimes she comes in here just for an eyebrow. Sometimes she comes in here to get her hair done. She actually does come to me to do her makeup, and I do a very good job, and I'm her for first choice. But um, I've seen him bring her in here at least six or seven times. But I'm not saying that they're together, right? But they are like kind of, I don't know. I'm not suggesting anything. It's none of my business, right? Listen, I wouldn't even worry about it. It's probably his cousin. It's his cousin. Okay, let's just say it's his cousin. And even if it's not, you know, after this, you're going to be so much prettier than her, I promise. I mean, you're already pretty good here. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna conceal, so I need for you to look up for me. Yeah, just hold still for me. No, but I'm saying, don't even worry about it. I only told you this because you sounded like a little bit concerned. The name sounded really familiar. I've saw him a couple times, but I've never seen him out. No, I actually did see him out. Do you go to Ruth Chris a lot? Like, do you guys go together, like, on dates a lot? Oh. No, 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 it's nothing, it's nothing. I, it's probably wasn't even him. It was, babe, it probably wasn't even him, okay? Listen, I'm gonna powder your face, bronze, and I'm gonna put some highlight on, okay? I would not worry about it, I'm telling you. It's probably nothing, it probably wasn't him. But if it was, they go every single Saturday at lunch. No, I'm telling you. Listen, just ask some people up here. Don't take it from me. I'm just giving you the message because you brought it up. Okay? That I wouldn't even worry about it. And like I said, you're prettier than her anyways. So, at least that's the bonus, right? Because I'll tell you what would suck. If she looks way better than you, <laughs> then you should be really mad, right? 
don't lie. You wouldn't want her to. You would not want her to be pretty, okay? All women know that. It's okay. You ain't got to lie, but it's cool. Whatever helps you sleep at night, okay? This is the palette I'm going to be using today. Because you said you wanted some color. What color are you wearing again? I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on your eye, okay? People always think I'm gonna stop them with these nails, but I only use my weapons for good. So, this is not even the time to use them as knives. But I'm really gentle whenever I do a person's makeup. Alright, so can you have me like this? Perfect. Let me ask you. How long have you guys been dating? And this is another thing to consider. Do you guys like have a breakup to make up? Like is that like a thing? Close your eye for me. Hmm. Well the only reason I ask is because if you guys have been dating for three years and you guys were off at the time that you were supposed to be on or whatever maybe he was taking his cousin out to dinner and bringing his cousin here to get made over when you guys were off right could be but maybe not i'm just an optimist i don't know i would still say look into it but maybe right I'm not gonna say all men cheat, right? I'm not gonna say that. But they kind of do. So, I wouldn't even get mad at him. You know, he makes you... He pays all your bills. He got you that new car. Now he's paying for your makeup and your hair to get signed. Your nails and your toes look pretty, right? But that's just a nice man. I probably would still dump him. I don't know. Mm -mm, keep your eyes closed. Okay. Well, like I said, I just think it was God telling me to tell you. I mean, this is my whole thing. I feel like if you're not going to leave him, why you want to dress it, right? Maybe God just wanted you to know so that you can keep an eye on him. But if you really want to know, I don't know if you know this girl, if you guys are friends or whatever, but I've overheard her mention your name when she came to the shop. So she does know a little something about you, but I don't really know what else she knows. You know. <clears throat> She's about your height, kind of petite. I would say petite. She dresses really nice. I always like her shoes. I'm not gonna say 
think that she was here sometimes when you were here. I'm not going to say that. What I will say is that you guys might have been in very close proximity to each other at the exact same time getting different hairstyles in the same place, right? But the thing is, I'm such an angel. I just normally just try to stay out of people's business. I don't spread anything because well, what's the point? All that's gonna do is cause problems. That's what everybody else does in this shop, and that's why I just try to stay out of it, you know. People like to say that I like to gossip, but the thing is, is it really gossip or is it the truth that by some divine intervention was placed in my hands to deliver to people like you, you know? If that's what they call gossip, I don't know. I just know that I'm an angel on earth and I just try to bring a little piece of heaven to each person that I meet. Okay. So... Pretty, pretty. We're gonna do bronzer. Now, I know that your person does eyebrows first, but that's the first mistake, right? We wanna do eyebrows last. So that's what we're gonna do. Right after I bronze you up and put some blush on you. You have a really pretty long structure. I mean, honestly, his cousin has nothing on you. Cousin. Has nothing. I'm just being funny when I do the little air quotations, you know? I really don't think they're together. At least not anymore. <laughs> just kidding. You know, I like to joke that way. I'm really sarcastic. Don't pay me any attention. And I'm not saying that he's tried to talk to, to some um, people up here, but did notice him after one day we were closing talking to the eyebrows eyebrows eyebrow waxing lady for a long time they said in the car and everything but maybe his eyebrows are kind of bushy maybe they were making like some type of exclusive eyebrow appointment away from the shop i don't know no the eyebrow lady's not here today not the one that does your eyebrows i just thought about Thing. Maybe some of the people are avoiding you in the shop because they're really close friends with your guy friends. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. But maybe. I would just keep an eye out. Some people in the shop are pretty shady. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do your eyebrows, and I'm gonna highlight you up, put you on a lip, and then you can go and enjoy your date and confront him. I'm just kidding. Now, even with the other makeup girl, I notice it. I notice this. I notice that she does your eyebrows in black. And this is why I hope you come to me in the future. Because you're only supposed to use dark brown or like your hair color. But never black, even if your hair is black. Never. Unless you like goth.
All right. So, to get them extra on fleek, I'm just gonna make sure I take some concealer, kind of go under there. Oh, another thing I noticed that your um, makeup lady does, she uses concealer that is way too light to go up, you know, around your eyebrows or whatever. And sometimes they just like they floating on your face. But luckily, you have me now, and plus you're pretty, so you can kind of get away with it. It's like a look, but it's still not like a good look. I'm only telling you this because I want to help, and you should come to me whenever you come to the shop from now on. Okay? So, now, go ahead, before I can zoom, I'm just gonna brush. I have great eyebrows. At least the eyebrow lady did your eyebrows really well. Okay. I'm truly amazing. I really create masterpieces. You look so good. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is a lip. So let me ask tonight when you go out, do you wanna be like bold and in charge? Like I'm liable to say anything and pass on the information that I learned from you tonight? Or do you wanna go like more subtle dark style? Like, hmm, I don't really talk that much, but I kind of talk only like speak when you're spoken to. Like what would you prefer? Let's do it. I knew you were bold when I met you. I knew it. I knew it. And I say, like I said, maybe it is disgusting, but I definitely say stand your ground. Stand your ground and ask questions. Nothing wrong with asking questions. Right? Okay. So just. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Okay. okay. And then let me get you some highlights off of this real quick. some mascara and then I'm going to pop some lashes on you and then we are on some Since we're going more on the bold side, these lashes are called seductive, and we're going to go with some of these, right? Okay, just close your eye for me. No, keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. 
Okay, let's do just like this. Okay, well, my artistry is finished here. I know that you still have some other things to do today, so have a great time. Don't believe everything you hear, and just remember, I delivered this purely out of concern, and it's probably not even true. See you next time.